Hi, good afternoon. This is Pete from FigLife.com. And today I'm looking at another fig variety that I'm trying for the first time. And this one is called Citrulara. And this is a variety that is becoming um, more widely available, but still is, is kind of hard to find. And um, there's not a lot of info out there about it. So really interested to see what this, this is all about. See if Citrulara is any good here in the, on the East Coast. And if it does, if it does okay outside of um, areas with the fig wasp. So find out here in just a minute. Let's go take a look at Citrulara. All right, good afternoon. Today I'm looking at another variety that I'm trying for the first time. And this one's called Citrulara. And uh, it's um, it's not widely available, but there are a few growers that have it. Um, we're getting kind of to the end of the season here. And so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of feeling like it's now or never for some of these figs here. Um, I think this one's pretty close to being ripe here, this one right here. Um, but I didn't get a, I did not get a lot of growth from Citrulara. Uh, well, I would maybe that's not fair to say. I mean, I got, some, I got, I got a fair amount of growth. It's probably, I mean, it's probably like seven, maybe six and a half feet tall here. And then it's got some side shoots coming off of it. Um, so that's good. But I didn't get a lot of fruit. Um, that is true. I got maybe a couple figs here, a couple figs there, and then these two right here. And that's pretty much it. So not a lot of figs off Citrulara, but you know, first year tree. So I just gotta be happy getting something off of it. Um, so let me let me go ahead and pick this let me pick this one and hopefully it's ripe because we're just kind of i'm not getting any latex off of that so that's a good sign um but we're just kind of getting to the end of the season here i mean i got highs in the low 70s the rest of the week and then it's supposed to start raining next week and this is like almost the end of september so i feel like there's just not much growing season left here in Virginia unfortunately but all right so there it is citrulara and some people have described this as having sort of like an eggplant uh, type shape to it and I don't know if that's the shape or the color or what but it it um, I guess it sort of looks like that uh, but this is a really this is a, this is a really nice looking fig um, a little just one little crack there and that's it uh, the eye is a little bit open um, but kind of a cool looking fig I, I like the look of this fig let me let me see how much it weighs oh what's going on here somebody's messing with this there we go 55 grams okay so pretty good size um, all right so let me let me go ahead and cut this open all right so cut this open and uh you know it's probably not quite as ripe as i would like i mean looking at the inside here it looks like i don't know it looks it looks quasi ripe but it, there's just a lot of the uh the white um i forget what those are called the the flower uh pieces in there that um you don't normally see on a ripe fig but i don't know it might be ripe, we'll see. But anyway, it is what it is. Okay, so this is my first time trying Citrulara. And this this piece actually looks pretty well ripened. I don't know if that was the side facing the sun or what, this side. This piece doesn't look quite as ripe. Let me start with the less ripe piece here. Yeah, that wasn't quite as ripe as it should have been. Real juicy, but just not a lot of sweetness or a lot of berry flavor. Real juicy though. Um, let me try this one. Yeah. Uh, just not not fully ripe. Unfortunately, uh, and kind of a little spoilage here on the bottom. 
Unfortunately, this is just, this is probably all I'm gonna get from Citrulara here this year. Um, unless I put it under the grow lights. It's just, uh, it just didn't get quite enough time. You know, first year, uh, first year growing the thing, a lot of times it's tough to get a fig off of a first year tree. It takes, it takes a couple years. Hey, just leave that alone, please, bud. Um, so this is one of those where, for me at least, I wasn't, wasn't quite as successful as I wanted to be, um, by getting a ripe fig off the tree during his first year. But, you know, it does look to be, I mean, it definitely can produce figs, and I'm sure if this was ripened properly, it, it probably could produce a, a good tasting fig, but just not quite there yet for Citrulara. Hey, good afternoon. It's Pete from FigLife.com, and today I'm looking at another fig variety here called Piombanese. And uh, this is a new one for me. I have not grown this one before. So uh, it looks like it's ripening just prior to the end of the season. So I'll get to try my first fig today. So let's take a look. Piombanese. Looking at another variety here today. I actually had a bunch of fig varieties ripen today for the first time. So taking a look at a bunch of them, but uh, this is called Pion Benice. Uh, really a lot of growth from this variety. Look how much, look how big this tree is. Um, so that's good to see. Not a lot of fruit on it though. You know, that happens sometimes with first year trees. But I think, um, I think this one's ripe. So let me go ahead and pick this. And uh, yeah, that's looking really good. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, I'm sure I got the name right, Pion Benise. So inter interested to see what this is like because I haven't heard much about it. All right, so here it is, Pion Benise. And I'm, I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but uh, it's got a little bit of an open eye. Let's see what the weight is. 33 grams. Kind of a kind of an interesting shape to it there. And it's it's pretty tender, so hopefully this is ripe. It looks ripe to me. Let me cut this open. All right. So here it is. It looks pretty good on the inside, and uh, looks to be well ripened. And you know, as I was looking at this, I was like, oh, you know, this does. This actually looks kind of like that fig I just looked at, Citrulara. <laughs> with the with the way the color was and then there and uh actually i looked it up just now and um apparently piombanese is a synonym for citrulara so um i had commented in my citrulara video that unfortunately i wasn't going to get a ripe fig <laughs> and then like you know 30 minutes later i get a ripe fig off a different tree that i didn't even know is the same so um so yeah, this may be a synonym for Citrulara. So turns out maybe I will get to try one of these uh, this year, uh, a well-ripened one. Cause this looks quite a bit better um, in terms of ripeness than my Citrulara fig did, which just didn't look ripe and didn't, didn't taste super great either because it was under ripe. So let me try this. All right. Okay, here it is. So this is Pion Benise, which apparently may be the same as Citrulara. Mm. Okay, much better flavor than that Citrulara fig, that's for sure. Uh, this one's actually ripe. Um, so just a light sweetness, you know, I've mentioned this uh, in some of my other videos recently, but the weather's really cooled off here. And so without the heat, um, I think that just affects the sweetness of the figs. And so I'm not getting a lot of sweetness from this fig. A little light sweetness and kind of a light berry. I think maybe the berry flavor is affected in the same way. But it does at least have a pleasant flavor um, a little bit juicy. 
obviously be nice if it had a little bit more flavor to it, but um, again, first year fig, this is a first year fig tree, so I'm getting a ripe fig off that tree and um, uh, having it be ripe and not underripe, um, I guess you can call that a win. So uh, that's that's uh, Pion Beniz, which I guess I can count that as a win for, for year number one uh, with Pion Beniz. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.figlife.com.